You're in the background, is that okay? Good morning, everybody. I am saying hello from Scotland. This is currently my view. <laughs> and I am about to get ready. So I thought I'd film a little get ready with me. My sister is at the spa with her husband. My dad and his girlfriend have taken Albie to the park. Rob and I have the house to ourselves for an hour or so. So I thought I would take this time, make the most of this beautiful house and get ready with you and show you my current kind of, the makeup that I wear when I need to go from looking like this to looking somewhat decent. <laughs> in a short amount of time. So this is my like 20 minute get ready with me hair, makeup, start to finish. So let's start with some hair. I'm gonna slick it back because that is what I do when I don't have much time. Oh, there's a little boat. How oh, we missed the boat. My hair is so frizzy. I need to wash it. It's got chlorine in it because there's a hot tub here. It's just back there behind where Rob is. And we went in it a couple of nights ago and I'm still yet to wash the chlorine out. So sorry hair. <laughs> To slick my hair, I use the Wella Shockwave Ultra Strong Hold Mousse, and I just take a good amount of that, and I absolutely cover my hair, and I make sure I get these little side pieces. I like to do this before my makeup because I kind of get it on my face, to be honest. Coat it, get it nice and saturated with product. I should have definitely put my rings on afterwards though. My rings are covered in mousse. And honestly, I'm gonna kind of get it on the ends here as well because I think I'm just gonna put it in a bun. And then I take my minging, don't look too close, but my little teaser comb and I slick it back. Slick it back. I'm not dressed or anything yet. I'm gonna film a little get ready with me outfit for Instagram and TikTok. So I'm still in my my cashies, and then we just pull it back. You want it as smooth as possible, but to be honest, I'm not like, I'm not like facelifting it, to be honest. We don't need to be crazy. It's a chill day. If I was like going out, like out, out, and I'm slicking back my hair, then I also use gel and loads of products, but this is like a casual slick and tie. I'm gonna leave it like that for now, but if any little bits come up, then I'm gonna use, I've got some got to be gel in this tub and a little spoolie and I just kind of slick back any hairs that rebel against me, but for now, we're just gonna leave it. Let's get on with some makeup, buzzing you in. As always, we start with shaving the face. Not everyone does this, obviously, but this girl does. Oh God, my razor needs battery. Is this hot, Rob? Let's start on the brows. This is the By Ellie Brow Texture Gel, but it's the one that comes in the little tube, which is obviously way better for travel. It works so well. So you just coat your hairs and kind of tease them in the opposite direction, in the right direction, just get them like coated. It's super duper quick. Before I slick them down, I just let that get a bit tacky and then I'll smooth them. And while that does that, I'm gonna pop on some skincare. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Vitamin C Serum and then my Skin and Me SPF as my moisturizer. I don't wanna load up my skin with loads of products. I don't know if you guys have seen the Scotland vlog yet. I'm not sure what's going up first, this or that. But if you haven't seen it and it's not up yet, we are currently in Scotland with my family. We're here for a week. We're staying off of Loch Long. Loch Long is what you can see in the background. If you don't know, my grandma was Scottish and Scotland has a very special place in my family's heart. We absolutely love it here. We've come here for years. We lost my grandma last year and my papa a few years before that. So we've actually come to Scotland to scatter their ashes. And we went to um, Loch Lomond two days ago and we did that. And now we're just kind of having a lovely sentimental family trip. We're here with Alvi, my nephew, who is nearly three now, which is so crazy. He's like a proper little human now. I'm just gonna slick down my brows. They're kind of setting now. Yeah, he's such a joy. He's such a funny little kid. He's very smart and it's really nice to like spend some proper time with him because my sister is actually pregnant again. I haven't mentioned it yet online. It's not really my news to share and I never really know whether I, <laughs> like I didn't know when it would be okay. Like who knew? She's like showing now and I'm assuming most people in her life know so. I can say Amy's expecting another baby in June. And funnily enough, the baby may actually come on my grandma's birthday, which I think is pretty spooky and quite cool. <laughs> SPF, 
skin in me. So yeah, that's why we're here. And that's why I'm doing minimal makeup because you don't really get doled up on a family trip, do you? Is that a thing? I don't know. Today's plan is very, very chilled because yesterday, me, my dad, his girlfriend Sam and Rob, we went and did a 13 and a half mile walk. I kind of underestimated how far that is. <laughs> And we're feeling it this morning. <laughs> Rob and I are both so stiff and so sore. So we're kind of taking the day easy and we're all taking turns to cook. Everyone, every night is cooking. And tonight and tomorrow night is mine and Rob's turn. So Rob at the moment is writing our shopping list because we need to go and buy the ingredients to cook tonight. So you'll see that in the vlog. You'll see us chefing up a storm and hopefully it's yummy. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, on to actual makeup. I've just been wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This one is the shade four, four, because I haven't been fake tanning recently. So I'm usually a 4.5. I'm a four right now. That would have been a nice cue for you to shout, you're a 10, Rob. You are a 10. <laughs> Doesn't feel the same when I've told you to say it. I'm gonna buff that in. I hope that the light's okay. It's um quite tricky, because we have like a panoramic view. So the light is coming from all over the place, which you'd think would make it a nice even light, but actually I feel like I'm quite backlit. This just evens out my skin, adds a little bit of a glow. You look quite at home here, Rob. Yeah, I could live here easy. We're manifesting this house for us for the future, right? Pretty sick. Yeah. One day, guys. One day I'll have daylight in my house, but until then I live in a dark, <laughs> dark house. I'm gonna add like half a pump of my HNB foundation. This is in the shade LF7C. Cause my skin is really breaking out at the moment. So I'm just gonna add a very light layer of that on top. I wasn't going to, but that hasn't quite hit the spot. I'm gonna use a Project 10 Pan product. My Dior Fier, Fier? Dior Fiever. Dior Fiever. <laughs> my Dior Forever concealer on any breakouts, redness, discoloration, imperfections, the use. I use the shade 2W, if you're wondering. And then I'm gonna use my HNB concealer under my eyes in SF2N. I love this concealer under the eyes. It's so brightening and it's got a lovely, lovely peachy undertone. So it will just counteract some of that blue because even though the goal of this trip for me is basically just to sleep as much as I possibly can, like I needed this trip to be like a full refresh. I just genetically have quite dark under eyes. And then I'm gonna use my Vive Conceal and Prime 119 brush just to tap that in. I find under eye concealer so satisfying to blend. So good. So if you want to know about the house that we're staying at, because it is obviously so beautiful, like this is all lock that we can see we are right on the water. We can see porpoises, which if you don't know what a porpoise is, it's kind of like a dolphin. There's sea otters. There were last time we were here, we haven't seen them yet, but there are like otters that run around just in front of the window. We have seen seals here, all from here. And you can just, there's a sofa there and you can just like watch the porpoises. It's honestly, gorgeous it's a place called cape cove and it's just on lock long you can rent it and it was actually featured in a tv show do you remember what the show is called the nest the nest this is where the nest was filmed so it's a pretty it's actually quite a famous house we when we were on our hike yesterday we bumped into some cyclists on the route and they were like, oh, you're here on holiday? We were like, yeah, we're just staying off of Loch Long. And they were like, you're not staying at that place where that TV show was filmed, are you? We were like, yep, that's the house. It's quite well known. So I highly, highly recommend it here. It is really beautiful. There's a hot tub. And we stayed here once before. We stayed here about five years ago with my grandma and papa. This is definitely taking me more than 15 minutes because I'm chatting away, but <laughs> it shouldn't take me this long normally, I promise. <laughs> Another 10 pan product. This is my Be Perfect Cronzer. Just a, a little bit to add. Oh, that wasn't a little bit. That was actually a lot of it. But to add some shape, a lovely creamy product. 
especially when you slick your hair back, you wanna make sure you get it right in your hairline so you don't have a, a bronzer helmet and your nose contour, obviously. Obviously. Come on, porpoises. Come say hi to my followers. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Now we set more HMB. Apparently I'm loving HMB at the moment. Their loose powder in the shade 02 Translucent. I just use a brush at the moment. I'm not bothering with a powder puff. I just whack it on. For brows, we're taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Detailer in the shade 3.5. Just fill in the missing hairs. I'm sorry if you can hear waves in the background. Albie listens to waves when he goes to sleep. He likes his ASMR like it's on TM. And I think they've left it turned on by accident and I don't know how to turn it off. I'm in a bit of a bad brow day here, guys. Sorry. What are you doing, Rob? Hmm? What are you doing? So I was just doing the shopping. Sorry if you're bored. I'm not bored. And then my 24 hour brow set to whack these bad boys in place and keep them there. For bronzer, we're gonna take the Vive Modern Bronzer. This is the shade medium. And I take most, ow! I take mostly the lighter shade, but a little bit of the deeper shade. I do like swirl and then like whoop, swirl, whoop. <laughs> I absolutely love this bronzer. It blends so beautifully because it's not entirely matte, it's not shimmery, but it's got like a little bit of like a natural sheen to it. So it doesn't look really flat and really matte products can be quite hard to blend. So having that slightly more sheeny finish makes it much easier to blend, which is nice when you're in a bit of a rush. And the nose, schnoz. For blush, shocker, we're going for our Too Faced Cloud Crush Candy Clouds Blush. I just love how this smells. It smells like their chocolate bronzer. And it's the most beautiful, like cool toned pink. And I put this really, really high up on my cheekbones to lift the cheeks. And then I'm gonna give it a spray with the Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Mist Seal and Set Mist. I forgot my fan, so I'm just gonna let that dry. For highlight, we're going for a proper throwback. This is Oh Darling Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. It is an oldie but a goldie. I love this highlight. I always use my Rare Beauty. I do not travel with it because it, it is completely smashed. And if I take it on one more trip, it's dead. I'm gonna miss it so much in the Philippines because I won't be able to take it with me. Unless I like put it in a little pot and use it like a loose highlight. But that also sounds kind of messy. No, I won't do that. I'll probably take this. On the tops of the cheekbones. The trick is do your highlight after your setting spray and then go in again with setting spray and it just melts the highlight in so it looks like a glow rather than just like a stripe on your cheek. And always highlight above your brow here. I love a glowy forehead. I don't wear eyeshadow, I don't bother, I just pop a bit of my highlight in my inner corners. A little bit on the brow bone. Basically just any of the high points of your face. The bridge of your nose. Bye. See ya. See ya. Secondary spray. Could you put that in the bin for me? I'm sorry. <laughs> a bit of my scarf and some hair. Delightful. Nice. <laughs> I don't normally add this, but I feel like it today. This is Gold Deposit from MAC. I'm just gonna put a bit of this on my forehead. Excuse the washing up in the background. Okay, we're on the home stretch, people. Last couple of things, mascara and lips, and then we're done. I'm gonna take Chestnut Lip Pencil from MAC and just... I like a nice cool toned brown. It's quite a dark brown. Now we're going in with Charlotte Tilbury Happy Love, my favorite lip product of the year. It's just, it's perfect that color it's like a balmy lipstick and with that darker lip liner it goes a little bit more plummy it's so good so nice sorry i've turned you because i feel like the lighting isn't actually ideal a bit more this way is that lighting a bit better <laughs> I don't know, you can see a bit of this gorgeous kitchen. Oh, I want to live here. Mascara, then we're done. My go-to mascara at the moment is the Estee Lauder Turbo Lash Mascara. It has got like a really juicy, chunky wand. So we're gonna curl these here lashes. I hope those wave sounds are relaxing and not annoying. <laughs> Also, lol at the fact that there's a fake lash stuck on my curlers. And I just put mascara on the top lashes. How nice is that mascara? That was like barely even a coat. Oh my God, I love it here so much. I want to live in this house, please. And I'm ready for the day. Here is how my makeup looks. 
hair done. If I'm not filming and chatting away and rambling, this takes me like 15, 20 minutes. It's super duper quick, but it just makes me look a little bit more polished, a little bit more healthy, glowy. It's not too much and I can squeeze my nephew without worrying about my makeup going everywhere. <laughs> so that is my little get ready with me Scotland edition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am gonna go do a food shop now, exciting stuff. If you've not seen the Scotland vlog yet, I hope you enjoy it when it does come out. I'm excited for it. Oh, Rob is watching a video out loud. Have the best day, you guys. Lots of love, and I'll see you soon.